Well, good morning. It's me again. Now I'm at a garage. Quite local to me. Now, he's got something nice in the background. You can probably hear it running. It's got a bed for the army truck. Now, perhaps you can point this out to me. It's got a yellow plate in the front. Now, I've been told that's a bridgeway. Now, it's got eight ton on it. Now, we'll see what happens. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the guy an interview and tell me why he bought it and whether he got it in part of shame for a car or not because he says a car dealer after all well, I'll take you around it and uh, he said he's going to put it forward and backwards and show you it's just gone off for a little while and we'll be back in about 20 minutes so anyway, come along and watch the video hope you enjoy it, see you in a little while That's it, it's a bit more quiet than there, isn't it? Pain's peeling off a little bit. Now then, let's show you the gear for lava. What we got here? High, low range, and your normal stick. Yeah. Right, atmospheric really, isn't it? Right, let's see if I can get back out of the truck now. This is going to be a job without falling over. Right, we made it. And brake gear. Clutch pedals. You see, the daughter. Pretty good shape. Really good shape. It's been well looked after. Jerry Cannes. All there, fuel tank, even a uh, towing rolls. Yeah, well, he's be back in a minute anyway. But the old air filter, perhaps you can tell me, is that right to have the air filter there? He'll be back in a second. What we're going to do, we're going to stand him and uh, have a chat with him why he bought it. Is he going to do more work on it or leave as is? I mean, I quite like as is, but you know, not everyone likes it as is. Yeah, really good shape. Really good shape. Okay, we've got Richard J with us today now. He's going to give us an explanation of why he bought it, this lorry, and how he come about it, where he found it, 
And what's he gonna do with it? Is he gonna restore it? But he don't need a lot of restoring, as you can see. But um, let's have a chat with Richard and see what he thinks. So Richard, let's bring you in a bit closer. Oh, yeah. So what made you buy it? Well, it was, um, when I saw it first time, I just fell in love with it. And I thought, I'll take a project on. Yeah. Um, so I bought it from a local guy who's had it for five years. It just sat around in his yard and it wasn't running. Um, so I've had the slave cylinder, master cylinder taken out. Yep. And been rebuilt and put back in. So that's all working now. I've got the engine running. So we heard that on the previous video. Yes, all right. So I've got the engine running. And the next step is we're going to get the brakes working. Oh, okay. And um, long term plan, I haven't decided yet, but we've had so many people stopped at Woodlands Garage and looked at it. Not just that, we've had people driven from Yorkshire really? to see it. Um, there is a lot of interest in it. Um, it is up for sale. Um, oh my God, is it? It right. is up for sale. And uh, I have had emails from Africa, no. Saudi Arabia, and all parts of the world purely because it's the original Bedford RL. Well, it is in all, it's, it's original, there's nothing yes. different about it no. at all. No. So, if we're talking money in there, and you're a salesman obviously, yes. so tell me what you think, before you do any more work on it, what would you say it's worth now then? As it stands, it's what I would want to achieve 575 or for it. Okay, well that's yeah. not too expensive. No, it's not. It's you not. Know? It's not. And, and if you do the brakes and that sort of thing, I think it will be worth a bit more. It'll be yeah. worth probably fifteen hundred, two grand more. And the number plate has been valued at two grand. Really? Yes. So you're basically paying four grand for the lorry, really. And something else I found out: the guy who came from Yorkshire Dales looked at it, uh, who's been restoring these for thirty odd years. He said the back of the cab. It's still got the original wood, no, um, really, which makes a huge difference, yep. and um, it doesn't need much doing to it. It doesn't. I've, yes, I've, I've been inside the cab and I look inside Have the you? cab, yes. and the bodywork it's, it's it's really well. Yeah. It just needs a little bit of tinkering here it and does. there. It does, and you the, know? and the other rarity is it's a tipper. Yes, which is very rare. Yes, and uh, yeah, and I can see the uh, on the wheels you've got the lifting. Um, yes. rings on it so you could, it was lifted on and off ship yes. during the time so I mean, what, was, what do you think the age of it is do you know the it's age 1957 1957 uh, it came out of army once they finished with it in 1973 oh, okay and then it got registered in 1974 oh smashing yes all right yes. so you're not keeping it, you don't want to show it, you don't want to go around all the shows and talk to I people. I don't know, I could change it next yeah, month, things no. could all change. You'll be surprised, once <laughs> you start looking at old things, yes. and you get a little bit older, you get a little bit no more nostalgic. Very much And so. more people come along and chat to you, and I hope yes. this video will also bring people around to you. Thank you. And uh, what we should do, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a picture of your car sales. Please with your do. phone number. So, at least if anyone's interested, they can bring you straight away, Richard. Thank you so much. That would be great. Thank you. Thanks ever so much. Thanks for showing me a bit. It's a pleasure. Cheer Thank you. Now. Thank you. Well, there you go then. I hope you enjoyed that little video you know it's nice to see the old army stuff and uh, if you've got any comments put them down in the description and uh, let me know what you think about it tell me about that bridge plate now I think it's called a bridge plate and, and the number plate Rich has been really good to us today he's given us a good interview and uh, be nice to come along again thanks a lot Jerry Alphanair Thank you.